In this video, we will solve an example problem and we will technically analyze this electrical circuit. Uh, I will not go into the uh, details of the modeling. Uh, we will first try the transfer function and then we will try to convert into in the state space form. Okay, so if we use the concept of impedance uh, from Vi to V1s, we can clearly see that V1, okay, so for that, V1s divided by u of s is equal to minus 2s divided by s plus 1. Okay, so this is a transfer function from the input. So this is u of s, it's the input voltage, and V1s is an intermediate output. It's not the actual output of the system. Okay, so if we analyze the second circuit, second open circuit, and if we again use the uh, concept of impedance, we can see that VOS divided by V1S is equal to minus 4T divided by S plus 100. Okay, so what is the actual output of the system? It is this. Okay, so we can say that it is equal to Y of S, which is equal to V naught of S, which is the actual input of the system, is this. So the goal is finding Y of S divided by U of S, which is simply equal to multiplication of this transfer function with this transfer function. Okay. So I will talk about this like uh, the transfer function in cascade and feedback form later, but this is the basic idea. So in that case, we can see that the resultant transfer function is equal to ATS divided by uh, S plus 101 S plus 100. So this is the transfer function. And our goal is now converting this transfer function format into a state space format. OK, so what we can do is we can use the uh, classical formats. Uh, such as controllable kind of form or observable kind of form and convert into state space form. However, now I will drive the uh, second method, which is the uh, observable kind of realization, directly using this transfer function as an example. Okay, so in the second uh, type of realization, the basic idea is first we multiply both sides with the uh, numerator and denominator. So in that respect, y of s is equal to this is s square. This is s, that's true, okay, uh, s square plus 101, s plus 100 is equal to 80 times s times u of s. Okay, so this is the basic idea. After that, what we do is, so what is the like the highest order s to the power n term, which is equal to s to the square. So what I do is, I will divide both sides with s square. Okay, that's great. So it is equal to y of s, okay, 1, that's great, 101 divided by 1 over s plus 100 times 1 over s square, and this is equal to 80 divided by s u of s. Okay, so what I will do is I will arrange it a little bit and I will leave y of s alone. Okay, so y of s is equal to y of s, okay, times 100, 1 over s square. Okay, that's great. So this should be minus, of course. Uh, that's great. Plus, not minus again, y of s, 101, 1 over s plus. Okay, u of s, 81 over s. Okay, that's great. So we're going somewhere. So what I will do is I will group the like elements, which is the same, 1 over s to the power n term. So this is alone. So these are together. So what I will do is this. y of s is equal to 1 over s squared minus 100 y of s. That's great plus, okay, uh, 80 times u of s minus y of s, this is very critical, 101 to uh, multiply with 1 over s. Okay, so that's great. So uh, if you remember from uh, your like Laplace transform expressions, so what is 1 over s? Okay, so it can be a, a good, good question. Uh, 1 over s 
is the integrator. Okay, so if we have a system which is in the form of 1 over s, okay, so we have input u of s, we have output y of s, okay, this is simply the integration. Why? It's very simple, you know that. So if y of t, okay, is equal to, let's say, uh, the integral of u of t dt, so if we take the Laplace transform, so if I have a derivative, it is multiplied with s. If I have integration, it is multiplied with 1 over s. So y of s will become 1 over s divided by u of s. You should know this from your differential equations or signals and systems courses. Okay, this is uh, pretty fundamental. That's great. So 1 over s means that we have a single integrator. 1 over s square means that we have a double integrator. Okay, that's great. So what I can do is, I can do uh, one more trick. Okay. Since 1 over s is an integration, I will divide it into two parts, okay? And I will arrange such that I have two single integrators, okay? So how I can do that? It's very simple. y of s is equal to, okay, 1 over s minus 100 y of s, okay, plus 80 times u of s minus 101 times y of s times 1 over s. Okay, so this part is multiplied with 1 over s. This part is multiplied 1 over s and then 1 over s. Okay, so I think you technically get some idea, right? Uh, because what I do is, so if 1 over s is an integration, okay, so I have an argument in s domain, I'll multiply with 1 over s, which means that I integrate once. I add this to an, another variable, I multiply it with one over s, I add an, another integrator. So what I did is, I technically composed the system into two integrators. Of the, and uh, what I integrate is, I integrate a linear combination of input and output to produce the output. There is some sort of feedback here, as you can see. I used output to produce the output, but this is the whole idea in differential equations. Okay, that's great. So what I will do is, uh, I will do some trick here, okay. So that's nice. Okay, good. So what I will do is this. Okay, this is y of s, that's great. Okay, I will call this as my first, okay, no, no, that's, no, no, it's not true. Okay, that's great. So what I will do is, okay, so this is my x of 1. Okay, this is my first state candidate in Laplace domain. Okay, and this is my x of 2s, which is, as you can see, technically equal to y of s. So I have two states. Because it's a second order system, I should have two states. Okay, that's great. So in that respect, I know that x1 of s is equal to 1 over s times minus 100 times y of s, but I know that y of s is equal to x2 of s. So I can write it in this form. 1 over s minus 100 times x1 of s, right? Okay, so that's simple. So what I will do is I multiply 1 over s, I multiply push s to here. In that respect, I have x times s times x1 of s, which is equal to minus 100, and this should be x2, sorry for that. Okay. Okay, this is x2, 100, x2 of s. What I will do is, I take the inverse of plus to find a time domain expression. Okay, so what is s times x1 of s? It's very simple, it's the derivative. So what I will have is x1 dot is equal to minus 100 x2. So what I have is now a first order differential equation which writes x1 that in terms of other states and the input of course it only depends on x2. That's right. So what I will do is I will do the same thing to uh, x2 of s. Okay so if I look at here x2 of s x2 of s is equal to, okay, x1 of s, now I will replace this with x1 of s, plus 
Okay, that's great. 80 times u of s minus 101 y of s, but I know that y of s is a technically equal to x2 of s times 1 over s. Okay, so let's move s to here. So s times x2 of s is equal to x1 of s plus, okay, so let's say minus, okay, minus 101 x2 of s plus 80 times u of s is my uh, Laplace domain equation. I take the inverse Laplace and I will obtain that x2 dot is equal to x1 minus 101 x2 plus 80 times u. So I have the second state equation. Now I can finish my whole state space presentation. Okay, so it's obvious that my states are x1 and x2. Okay, so let's call it x. x dot is equal to, okay, x1 only depends on x2. So it is minus 100. That's great. This is 0. x2 depends on x1. This is 1. Itself minus 101. x, okay. So x1 doesn't depend on the input. This is equal to 0. This is equal to 80 times u. So I have the state update equation. I need an up, uh, output equation. y is equal to, so I know that my output is equal to second state. So it is equal to 0 to x. So what is d? d is equal to 0. 0 times u because there is no direct connection between input and output. Okay, so uh, this way we obtain a state space representation and it's technically called observable canonical form. Uh, okay, I have a formal derivation for a generic state space system in the lecture notes. You can look at them and you can technically uh, understand the general uh, derivations. Also, in the midterms, in the quizzes, you can technically use the standard forms. If you have a transfer function, you can just look at the form and write the state space uh, representation. Now, what are we going to do is, we will try to transfer this state space representation into transfer function form. Okay, so if you remember the formula, so transfer function g of s is equal to c times s i minus a inverse plus now multiply with b. So for that, okay, so multiply with b plus d. Okay, that's great. So let's just e use this formula uh, to find transfer function. We know that d is equal to zero. So what is c? So this will be one, so for that. Okay, let's change it. This is one. Okay, zero, one, that's good. So I have si minus a, and it is equal to, let's write it explicitly. Zero, one, zero, one. Okay, minus, let's call it plus. Okay, that's great, zero, one, hundred. This one, one, hundred, one. Okay, inverse times. 0, 80, that's, okay, of course, we, that's it, so, and we need to have S here, okay, that's great, so let's move on with the derivation, 0, 1, okay, so this is equal to S plus 100, okay, this is nice, so this is minus 1, S plus 101, Okay, that's great. I need to take the inverse. Okay, 0, 80. Okay, so I have 2 by 2 inverse. Uh, in order to do that, why I need to use? I need to use the adjoint matrix. Okay, so this is equal to 0, 1. Okay, so what is the adjoint matrix? If I remember correctly, uh, what I will do is uh, I will change the signs here. I will change the orders. Okay, that's great. Okay, S plus 101. Okay, this is S. Okay, and these will change just science. 1, 100 minus. Okay, so we will verify it later. We'll see that if it's correct. Uh, our uh, derivation is correct. I think it's correct. That's nice. No problem. Okay, divided by the determinant of the matrix. Determinant of this matrix. Uh, which is equal to, let's write 
determinant explicitly. Okay, so S times S plus 101. Okay, minus minus. So it is it should be equal to I guess 100, and this is equal to 0 to 80. That's great. Okay, this is equal to so 0, 1, which technically selects the second row, right? Okay, that's right, which is quite easy. So 1 s multiply with 0, 80. And if we look at the denominator, I can see that is square plus 101 s plus 100. Okay, so if I continue, this is equal to. 80 times s divided by s square plus 101 s plus 100. As you can see, I find the transfer function which is exactly equal to my origin transfer function which I found directly from the uh, manual electrical circuit. Okay, so as you can see in this example, what I did is I obtained the transfer function directly from the electrical circuit. Okay, then I converted this transfer function into a canonical state space representation. Okay, which is technically an observable canonical form, but uh, at this point you don't need to know the name of the form. Uh, you need to know that it is a valid state space representation of the system. Okay, then what I did is uh, I used the formula. Uh, that we used to convert this uh, state space form into transfer function and uh, luckily the transfer function that we finally computed is equal to the, our original transfer function.